whom whom is in the house Whom is in the house today? Hello, everybody. I hope everyone is doing uh, doing good, you know, doing as good as you can uh, do good. I hope everyone's uh, doing well. That's the word. Uh, what's up? What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, it's going to be a good uh, broadcast this evening because I have a bunch of cool stuff kind of planned. Uh like I have, even though there's not a bunch of news, there's some news, a little bit of news, but, um, Erwin Papa, what's up? Yo, look what I have handy right here. I got a bunch of these now at this point. Uh, hello. There we go. Yeah, I have some, today's a, a pretty cool show. It's not going to be crazy long. I'll probably get off here like in an hour, hour 15, but um, I got some cool stuff planned. I got some like cool action figure photography lined up to show people. I have some a giveaway to do. Huge thank you to Rebel Ten Customs. She's providing some awesome pieces for a giveaway today, and uh, I'm gonna go to her. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go to Rebel Ten Customs because I'm gonna go to someone else who uh, did a really nice display of her of her. Um, of her capes but make sure you guys are following rebel 10 customs i have her her uh instagram page pinned in the comments in the pinned comments that's a link to her instagram page man i was all excited about today's live stream and i'm like having i'm like just blanking out mid-sentence <laughs> um but yeah you could go to make sure you guys are following rebel 10 customs let's start over okay Hey, what's up, everybody? We're doing a giveaway today. Uh, Rebel 10 Customs provided some capes to give away to you guys. Um, and we're going to be giving those away today. And I'm going to someone's page who took some really dope pictures of the capes. Uh, but also, be sure that you are following Rebel 10 Customs. I pinned a link to her Instagram page in the comments. In the comments worst worst live stream ever and also we're get, this is going to be the first time i do a giveaway on this program we'll see how it works it looks like it's easy actually i like set some time aside to try to figure it out and it looks pretty easy so we'll see how it goes and also the other thing too so here here's how it's gonna go we'll wait till more people get here but i'll put up the hashtag so that people can start hashtagging it um what we're gonna do so if you win the giveaway if I don't know you already, or if you're not like a Tuesday crew official person who's been around forever, all that type of thing, then shoot me a message on Instagram uh, right away. If you don't shoot me a, a message on Instagram by like next Friday, by like the next time I do a live, then you're going to lose your prize. That's how it's going to go. So you have until the end of the live stream or until your name is called, or you have from when your name is called until... Um, Friday, because I'll re-give away the gift on Friday. Hey, what's up, Bobo? Uh, Northern Nomad says a Tuesday crew sucker. Yeah, that's right. If you're not a if you're not a Tuesday crew sucker. Um, Ray Paz says, wait, what if I don't have Instagram? Uh, shoot me an email. My email is on my uh on my uh page like on my youtube my email's on there or you know go to my instagram you know there's definitely hey bobo was gifted a membership by savage saint oh that's cool uh kirby kai says strictly for americans um let me ask I should have asked that. 
Wow, Savage Saint gifted five unparalleled universe memberships. Hey, that's cr Savage Saint. That's awesome of you. Look at all these awesome people that were gifted memberships. One six shooter, what's up, yo? Rick Dominguez says, "If I don't win, I'm suing." Hey, Rick, you you are a uh, um, you know. In my opinion, you know, you're part of articulated comic book art. So, like, in my opinion, you're like a competitor. So you're not, you can't, you don't qualify for the giveaway. If you win, um, I'm not gonna re-give away. I'm just gonna throw the cape in the garbage. So um a as a gesture, as a gesture of you know, beef and conflict, I'm not gonna apologize. You know what I'm saying? I totally forgot to bring up the screen showing the uh, the vision cape. So yeah, if you guys haven't seen it, Rebel Ten did an amazing job. Man, she did an amazing job on these capes. She's not answering right now, unfortunately. So I may have to just take the risk and say, yeah, we'll, we'll ship it outside of the U.S. Um, worst case, I'll have her ship it to me, and then uh, I will take care of it from there. But the plan is for her to ship it directly to the winners. Uh, but yeah, so these are the capes that uh, Rebel 10 made for Vision, and uh, they're awesome. Like, I love the Vision figure, but I haven't opened it because I've been, uh, you know, I've been wanting to buy a cape from her. I've just been putting it off, but um, for that reason, it's the, it's been, Vision's been sitting in my closet ever since it came out. I got it even a little bit early, too, and it just sat in there, but yeah, um, as you can see from these awesome pictures from Excelsior 1975, uh, it, the vision cape just adds so much to it. Um, so yeah, one six shooter says, what's the competition? It's a giveaway. Yo, I'm giving away. Oh, one six shooter. You know, I can, I consider you, um, competition as well because you're on podcasts and things of that nature. So, uh, you are disqualified from leave. Actually, you are articulated comic book art members, toy amigos, toying around all you guys. You're not welcome here. Just so you know. You're not welcome in the chat. Hey, what's up, Brick something? Grumpy old nerd says, love the cape. Okay, so here is the, uh, hey, Toys with Attitude. What's up, yo? Shout out to Toys with Attitude. He is uh, killing it on Instagram. Uh, I'm a big fan of his page. And like, yeah, he, he does really clean, nice looking videos showcasing figures. And they're always awesome. So uh, shout out to him. <laughs> one six shooter says wow k okay, bye hey man it, it's getting real out here you know what i mean it's getting oh it's getting real out here with the beef you know i i want to i want to be i don't want to be a peacekeeper you know what i'm saying i want to be a, a beef bringer not a peacekeeper that, that's who i am so it, okay so i have i've never done a giveaway on this program so if it gets messed up fuck you guys you know what i mean <laughs> that's that's how it is if it gets messed up i'm keeping all the capes i'm giving all my old vision figures capes so um the hashtag is gonna be hashtag victor shade you see right here see this shit right here it says type victor shade in the comments to join exclamation mark so hey kit bash customs what's up yo One six shooter says, "I'm good with beef. Beef with you could get more views." Oh, hey, Be that's hey, that sounds mutually beneficial. Oh shit, look at that! There, it shows people's names. Potato. It looks like Potato is the only one who. Uh, whoa, hey, hey, hey! Looks like Potato was the only one. Okay, look at that. Now we see all the people. So I, I, you know, um, I hope I do this right, cause this is cool. Does it say how many participants? Okay, so right now there are 28 participants. I, I think if I press start, it'll like go tick, 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 and choose somebody. So we won't do it yet. I'm going to do it um, like probably at the end of the show. And if you win, you, you need to be here to claim your prize, at least in the chat. So you got to stay till the end of the of the of the broadcast. Um. And, and I'll come back to this page every little while so that I can remind people what the hashtag is. And if you guys 
just to remind you guys, the winner of today's giveaway will be getting... There's actually two to give away. Uh, Rebel 10 is actually providing two capes. Uh, be, and, and, you know, let me tell you something. Rebel 10, like, popped up out of nowhere and was like, hey, let's do a giveaway for your fans. Like, out of nowhere. And it's, like, just so nice of her. Um, you know, not only is she very talented, she's also very nice and giving to, like, the community. Like, she she definitely wanted to show you guys specifically some love. She, she, sh she watches the show. She always hits me up after and says, oh, I saw this, or brings up topics that we were talking about. Um, and, you know, I've got, like, some cool, odious stuff planned with her. And it's going to be awesome. But yeah, she hit me up about this giveaway thing. And it, I think it's such a cool idea because this vision figure is very cool. But adding the cape onto it definitely does a lot. So um, yeah, shout out to her for putting this together. Reese says, I'll pass. Hey, yeah, that's cool, Reese. Like if you don't want it and you don't enter the giveaway, I appreciate you not taking up a spot. You know what I mean? Deep waters. What's up, yo? Josh Brown says I'm in. And uh, yeah, just a reminder to you guys, we're not going to I'm not going to be on here making you guys wait all night. I'm going to get out of here like now, like, you know, in about 50 minutes. Oh, Kitbash Customs, you, uh, you know, you make YouTube videos sometimes and Instagram videos. So I consider you competition as well. So you are disqualified. Uh, if you win, you will not receive the cape. I will keep it. Um, oh, and then he says I better win. No, no, no. If you win. You don't get it. Sorry. Jamie the Park says, man, I just got this figure and the cape is the only one thing holding it back a little bit. Yeah. Hey, and you know, you guys in the chat, if you don't win a cape, uh, Rebel 10 sells these capes on her website. So um, like I said, I have a link to, I should have put her website, but I have a link to her Instagram in the pinned comment. So please make sure that all of you guys are following her. Um, you know, she's a big contributor to the whole odious project and, you know, she makes amazing soft goods for you guys' figures. Uh, Brayden uh, Feenstein, is that how you say it? it? Says, can you show us the Marvel Select cap? Yeah, I actually have it right here. I'll have my review up for him like on Thursday. Hey, but this shit is awesome. I'm so happy with the way that it turned out. I was just posing him around a little bit. But th this is going to go down as like one of the best Captain Americas, in my opinion, in this scale. Like it, it does have some of the like, issues that um you know that that diamond select often has like just overall like feel of quality to their plastic and stuff like that it just sometimes it's just not as as uh, high quality as you would like you know especially just you know a lot of companies put out figures and everything feels so good you know and like sometimes with uh, uh diamond select the, the feel of the plastic doesn't feel quite as good as everyone else's sometimes but um honestly that's like the only flaw like the only thing i could complain about with this figure josh brown says glad you like it i was worried do you have it josh like out of curiosity what do you think oh, oh yeah raiden says um all the ones at my uh at my qc have major paint issues yeah, that that is very true. I mentioned that in my review because so Diamond Select sent this out to me and this is the second one they sent me. They sent me a first one and uh, the paint was all jacked up on the star. So I, I hit them up and I was like, hey, you know, this Captain America looks good. I was looking forward to it, but I can't review it with this like this big paint imperfection. So they were like, oh, shit, sorry, sent a new or not. Sorry, but they were like, oh, we'll send you a new one right away. As soon as they saw a picture, you know, um, and then even the new one that I got, like the paint isn't. Ah, ah. The paint isn't perfect, but it's not like horrible. You know, there's like small paint imperfections. But um, I will say, though, like I I'm just uh, there's so much here. Like if you could find a clean one, uh, there's so much good stuff here. You know, like the articulation is good. I love I, I think they were able to sneak in more neck articulation because of the by calling it like a, a feature, like an accessory feature or whatever, and not just the point of articulation. Uh, but yeah, man. Such a good figure. There's so much going on here that I'd like to see on other Captain America figures. The only thing that like uh, people were concerned about, myself included, was the upper thigh swivel. It's it's honestly not even an issue. Like it doesn't have any upper thigh swivel. There's no internal ball joints or anything like that. But even just how it is, it still moves enough to like to not feel static, you know. And that's the main thing. I mean, obviously, I wish it moved a little bit more, but um, there's enough going on here. You know, it's not Spider-Man. So, so like on principle, it's kind of like, oh, I wish it moved a little more. But realistically and, and how you're going to use it, it, it's probably fine. 
um the torso uh yeah a lot of people are kind of upset with the torso movement i'm not too mad at it i might modify it but honestly um i could live with this i, I really can but it's so I'm, i'll make a video for it or like a short at least but it's so easy to modify diamond select figures it's almost like a no-brainer like you might as well just go ahead and do it but um i i don't know if it's necessary with captain america so yeah man i'm excited I, i'm really happy with the way he turned out as a as a big old captain america fan i'm oh yeah the only issue is definitely the um the feel of the the joint sometimes like like his lower leg is kind of loose you know like that type of thing but hey juan sanchez what's cracking he says uh real talk i don't like the new marvel select captain america at all oh shit he says but i respect others opinion though but i bought that figure specifically for the shield and it looks great with the legends cap oh so you bought the figure messed around with it not into it Uh, for for you guys that are just popping up i want i want to make sure everybody knows i'm do we are doing a giveaway myself and rebel 10 customs uh mostly her but she's giving away a couple of um vision capes so if you want to be involved in this giveaway uh type hashtag victor shade in the comments to join see right here how's oh shit no i didn't bring it up hold on see how it says right here look it says <laughs> type in hashtag victor shade in the comments to join So uh, let me see how, how many. There's two to give away. So I don't know if we'll have to like do it again, but I uh, maybe I have to reset it. I don't know. We'll see. But like, uh, yeah, right now there's 58 people involved in this giveaway right now. So um, yeah, if you want one, Victor Shade, get in it, get on it, pump, 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 get it, get it. Hey, and you know what? If this giveaway like fucking bullshit little thing on the program here is easy to use i'll be doing a lot more giveaways because um you know i have like a lot lots of figures sometimes i end up with doubles of stuff or like just things that are just hanging around and it's kind of like let's start giving away shit to like the the you know you awesome people in the chat that have been like supporting all these years you know i should have been doing that shit a long time ago but it's just it's tough but now if it's easy then uh we'll make it happen uh but yeah let's go ahead and get into uh Let's talk about some news first, and then we'll get into the uh, uh, the action figure photography. And also, for all the, uh, we're gonna look at five different uh, shots that caught my attention when when I was scrolling around this week. And um, I have all of the people that we're gonna talk about listed in the description below. See, I'm I'm banging today. I, I'm I'm got I got it all fucking worked out today. Jamie the Park says, hey, Wade, maybe show off some other Rebel 10 Customs um, products. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that is not a bad idea. Let's go ahead and go to Rebel 10's Customs, Rebel 10 Customs page real quick before we uh, get into this other stuff. Uh, but yeah, she has all kinds of really cool stuff. And like, on top of what she has right here on her page, she, ha she, she shows me some stuff that like, she doesn't always post, like, you know, customs that she makes for people. And like she, dude, she has all kinds of all kinds of dope shit that she does. But yeah, let's see. Uh, take a look. Oh yeah, here's that. Uh, she made it, put together a little video of this stuff. Um, she also did uh, the jacket on um, my my uh, lizard figure. She did like a custom white like lab coat. Austin keeps Austin. I don't know if it gives you multiple entries. I think I've seen you hashtag it. Yeah, I, I keeps don't do multiple hashtags. I don't think it gives you multiple entries. So um, you're just kind of clogging up the the chat. Just be just be cool. Just hashtag you're in there. You hashtag it. You're in there. Don't worry about it. But uh, yeah, you know she makes a bunch of good stuff. This blade jacket is dope. Oh, this Mister Fix It jacket is dope. Oh, nice. Yo, Anthony Day or and Anthony Davis. Sorry, that fucking bitch ass Anthony Davis called in sick. But uh, 
Andy Davis uh, celebrates 38 months of channel membership. Austin says, wasn't sure if it was cap sensitive. My bad. No, no, you're all good, man. Don't even worry about it. Jose Romero says, your channel is very informative and you keep it honest. Thanks. Thanks and glad on how you share your tutorials. Uh, hashtag Victor Shade. There we go. Good luck to everybody, man. Um, but yeah, she also did some really dope Scarlet Spider hoodies. I have one of those too. I, I may, may end up putting one on my marvel legends um scarlet spider oh see like man so uh myself i reached out to a soul brother to help me work out a design for the inuit version of odious and uh yeah rebel 10 is going to be doing the uh the prototyping for that and like some of the material that she's shown me is is definitely going to work with the fur and shit like that so um Oh, yeah, showing some odious love. Yeah. But, yeah, shout out to Rebel 10 Customs. Be sure to follow her. Her name is, or her Instagram link to her Instagram is pinned in the comments. So uh, check her out. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at some of these folks that I have their photography saved. Oh, no, we're going to do news first. I, the only, like, big, well, this isn't big news but monkey fresh monkey fiction showed off like this really cool uh, i don't know if these are like accessories for something coming out oh finished pain master for the operation monster force delta red nocturnal operation zombie defense loadout accessory set holy shit uh this set is available now for pre-order on big bad toy store and includes weapons designed and sculpted by oh shit okay uh grid iron studios very cool Brendan Frainstein says the uh, lizard jacket is a bit too long for him. Well, it's a lab coat. It's not really a jacket. Uh, Angel says, what's up, Wade? Out of the blue, I was wondering if you messed with the McFarland DC stuff. I'm on the fence about them, but their new Azrael Batman armor figure looks pretty dope. What do you think about them? Uh, generally, I'm not a huge fan of McFarland toys. They do have a couple of really good ones. Um, so, you know, it's not like they're all bad, but they're... I'm not the biggest fan, to be honest with you. I will say, though, that Azrael figure does look really nice. Uh, Raiden says, they need to release Wave 1 before I PO. It's been two years now. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely... Um, Grumpy Hole Nerd says, Inuit. I loved it. Thanks for getting rid of the Eskimo term. Yeah, I had to look it up and shit. Because, like, I would say it on here. Obviously, you know, I don't, I'm not... Look, when I'm trying to offend people, I'm very intentional about it, right? Like, I say stupid jokes on here all the time. But, like, that one, like, I'd say Eskimo and people get all pissed off at me. And I'm like, you know, so I went and looked it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be, uh, I, I won't say anything. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll do my best not to accidentally offend people. Anytime I offend, say something offensive, it'll be intentional. That you can count on. Rick something says looking forward to these operation force can't go deep but they've shown some cool stuff yeah no the operation um the these fresh monkey fiction figures look amazing um like uh I got a chance to play around with them at WonderCon and they are really really cool so I'm very excited about these I can't wait for all the different monsters and stuff and, and you know I've seen a lot of people kind of like get pissed off about the fact that like they're taking long um not not to say somebody made a comment earlier i'm not saying that you got pissed off but like a lot of people were making comments about why are they taking so long but like it, dude it's a small company it, it's not hasbro that could turn things around it, it's kind of a small company that like that has like a lot of figures going on and also from based on what i learned uh through my conversations with them at wondercon like they're trying to uh improve them you know they're making little adjustments here and there to make them better and better so I think uh, it'll be worth the wait. Misty Owl says, any recent Mezco figures that you're excited about? Well, I just opened uh, Prune Face. I got this from MCU Collector. He sold it to me. He had an extra or he didn't want his or whatever. So 
I really love that figure. And then I have the Shadow, which I haven't opened, but I'm very excited about that. And also today I did get Storm Shadow in. So um, I, I was I was planning on opening it tonight, but I don't think there'll be time. Wait, does it have a butterfly? How was the articulation? Yeah, so uh, some of them have some of them were shown with butterflies to begin with, and then some of them had butterflies added on. Um, so yes, yeah, so a lot of these Monster Force figures are going to have butterfly joints. I don't know if every single one is, but a bunch of them are. Brendan Frainstein. Sorry, I keep saying your name wrong. I'm just going to say Bren Braden. Braden says, whatever happened to Balaverse? Uh, Balaverse is uh, still out there doing their thing. Raiden says, Monster Force versus Action Force. That will be an interesting head-to-head. -head. For sure. I, I mean, for me personally, I like the monsters. I, I like the monster element in the designs. So that that's one thing that kind of like draws me towards um, Fresh Monkey Fiction, if we're making a comparison, right? But like, I think that both of them are awesome. Like, Valiverse figures are are dope. Like they're killing it. They've been killing it, and uh, they're doing a good job with their stuff. But yeah, Monster Force. It looks like they're going to bring something very interesting to the table too. Bat Force Grumps celebrates forty months of membership. Shit, Grumps. So like in eight months, like at the end of this year, you'll be a, a you you will have been a channel member for like four years. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, these Monster Force figures look good. And then the other big news, it was really like the only big news of the day was that Hasbro revealed their, uh, not only did they reveal, they actually put it up for sale like today. So like if you were a, if you are a Hasbro Pulse premium member, then you were able to like pick this up and buy it right away. Like, I don't know if it was available for purchase for everybody. Um, I, I. I'm not a channel pulse member or whatever premium, but somebody grabbed it for me. So, uh, shout out to them. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a very cool set. Um, at first I was a little like, I was a little like, oh man, they used an old body on, on giant man, but you know, the body works. And like my biggest complaint about recent uses of this body was the fact that the figures feel old, but like in this case, they gave him new arms and legs. So it's like, you know, it's a good body with new arms and legs now. So I think I'll be pretty happy with it. Like last year's Ant-Man that was on this body felt old. Like the limbs were warping and just kind of whack. Same thing with Yondu. Hey, toying around. Let me tell you something, all right? Let me tell you something about toying around. First off, you're not welcome here. Okay, that's number one. Let me just make sure that that's clear. You're not welcome here because you are, uh, in my eyes, a competitor. So you know, I don't like you. I don't like your channel or whatever bullshit you got going on. I don't like it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, on the other side of that, huge shout out to Toying Around because he threw a convention. So he threw a convention um, uh, in Canada somewhere. I don't know where. I'm sorry. But he threw a convention and, you know, he had guest guest stars out there. He had the voice of Wolverine out there. He had... Um, I always forget his name, but he, you know, his homie from star Wars. So that was really dope. And then, um, you know, he also like Ryan Ting was out there. I think he was just enjoying the shit. He had a bunch of vendors. He had like all kinds of cool stuff going on. And I was like, man, that's so cool. Like I would have, I would have tried to go gone out there, honestly. Um, if I would have knew about it a little bit earlier. Um, but hopefully if he does it again, I would like to make it out there. It'd be cool to go to Canada for some reason, but, um, yeah, that's so cool. Like I, I would, I, it would be, I would love to do something like that um, one day, but that's big dog shit. So huge, huge shout out to uh, Kevin for doing that. Um, that is very cool. But at the same time, fuck him. You know what I mean? Because he's a competitor. So it is what it is. What what can you do? You can't, you can't be fraternizing with the, with the enemy around this motherfucker, you know? Um, hey, what's up, BJ Palm 1994? Hey, just a reminder to everybody, I am doing a giveaway today for uh, some vision capes made by Rebel 10 Customs. Currently, who's Mikey? One six shooter says Mikey gets a pass. I see how it is. No, nobody gets a pass. Everyone's I got beef with everybody. If you have a YouTube channel, well, actually, you know what? Fuck these YouTubers and these podcasters and live stream fucking whatever guys. I don't give a fuck about them. You know what I mean? Because I I forgot I'm a toy maker, so I got beef with toy makers. Um, yeah, fuck them. You know what I mean? All of them. But anyways. 
if you want to be if you want to get in on this giveaway um the hash if you read right here it says type hashtag victor shade in the comments to join so uh yeah do that and and you might win a vision cape made by uh the very talented rebel 10 customs uh but yeah you know so i'm excited to get this ant-man set i think giant man himself or small giant man himself looks really cool um i love that they gave him a soft goods jacket i think that me uh I, I think that um hasbro does pretty good with oh toying around says make it a business expense man exhibit some odious stuff hey you know uh totally i, I would love to do that kevin to be honest with you um, I mean, we'll still have beef and everything, but I would love to to do that, to go out there and set up an odious table. That would definitely make it uh, more worth. I, I mean, I'd like to go just to check out the convention because honestly, that's really cool because I know that's like a huge, uh, like a huge thing to pull off. It's it's so cool that it went well. And uh, yeah, I would have liked to have gone, but hopefully next year or if you do it again, uh, I, I should have asked more questions early on. But I think with going to WonderCon, it, it might have been tough to do both. But um, yeah, you know, I want to I want to get out there one, one of these days. Um, yeah, so uh, Hasbro does a really good job with soft goods, even though they don't do them often. Like, you know, they did a lab coat for Beast and it was super dope. And now they're doing a lab coat for uh, Hank Pym and um, it looks really good. So I cannot wait. It's got a cool like unmasked head. Definitely the star of the show is. Um, Ray Pass. Oh, uh, definitely the star of the show is this wasp fi figure. Uh, she looks really, really good. Um, you know, I haven't opened my Jean Grey figure, so I'm not really sure how this torso setup works for the females. I know that they've had some success doing just a ball joint at the waist with like, you know, Psycho Man, Doctor Doom, Kang the Conqueror, that type of shit. So I'm not too worried about the torso, to be honest with you. But I, I just think this is like a beautiful looking figure. Like, check out this head sculpt. Uh, they they killed it. Like, we don't have a whole lot of good wasp figures. Uh, Hasbro made a, a wasp a few years ago that was decent. Toy Biz made a couple back in the day that were, you know, not very good. Obviously, they don't hold up or anything. But um, Kirby Kai says Wade should just send up some odious figures, uh, merch material, and Seven Nine Six Studios could work his booth. Give him something to do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, this uh, wasp figure looks great. And look at all the accessories. You know, I, I think the figure, the set, or what's the price? Does it say it on here? I want to say it was like 55 bucks or something. And, you know, honestly, um, I, I really don't mind that price for a two pack that has this much going on. Like um, the only like thing that you can maybe complain about is the re like the fact that, you know, Hank Pym is on a, a reused body. But still, there's updated parts, so you can't complain too much. It's like, I don't know. I, I think this is a good set. I think it's a really good set considering everything that's in there. Um, Ryan Ting at WonderCon kind of used the uh, Quinjet here as a teaser for what was going on uh, or for what was going to be coming out. I was hoping it'd be Goliath, but, you know, this is cool, too. I mean, I, this is cool regardless, but I'm saying for that tease specifically, you know, I wish it would have been Goliath. But anyways, uh, I, I'm really excited for this set. I can't wait to get it. It's so cool that Hasbro are shipping it right away. And, you know, it's going to go along perfect with Giant Man. Uh, Giant Man has to be on the way pretty soon, right? Like, when is that shit coming out? I feel like Giant Man finished up right before, like, uh, what, June of last year or something? A lot of people are saying they should have included minis. Yeah, for sure. That that would that that would that would always be welcome. Jamie Lynn Park says, I think they said this fall on last stream. When is fall? Aren't we in fall now? Oh no, no. Fall's after summer, huh? Giant Man was in October. Are you sure? Because I thought because Odie is finished in July, and I thought Giant Man was before that.
we have 160 people here and i want to see how many people are involved in this giveaway it would be really cool if there was like 100 people at least 78 people so uh, i'll be doing the uh draw or whatever towards the end here but um oh you know what before i forget oh the figure part says bro go back to school and learn the months and the seasons Time is, you know, what you make it or whatever. Mikey's looking for a beef, but he had, look, this is how small Mikey is on my radar. He has like a podcast and YouTube channel. I, I forgot. Uh, I just have beef with him over because he's a, just because who he is. Like, I, I don't even have like content beef with him. He's not even, he's got a, you know, but like just him as a person, I got beef with him. So there's that. Jamie Lil Park says, I'm pretty sure it was Dragonfly, Odious, then Giant Man. Was it? Okay. Talawaka says, that's why I didn't get him because of because I have like six people with birthdays in October I had to buy things for. Yeah, no, uh, it was a crazy year last year. But uh, there's one more thing that I would... It'd be over a hundred with all the YouTubers. Yeah, there is too many YouTube. Oh shit, there's there are too many YouTubers here. They gotta all leave or whatever, or shout me out. Do something. Do something productive. You know. Um. Uh, there is something else that I want to talk about before we get into the uh, action figure showcase. I mean, the action figure picture showcase. Uh, there's a lot of great, um, there's always, it seems like there's always great Kickstarters going right now. Um, one that is trying to get funded. I want to show them some love because they're always very nice and you know, they're out there hustling, trying to do their thing. And, uh, yeah, let me bring it up here just for a second. Okay, yeah, I'm uh, Spider Criminal. Oh, Spider Criminal, you know, you've got a couple of huge videos with a bunch of views. You got a YouTube channel and all that shit. We got beef. I got beef with you. I consider you competition. So just want you to know you're not welcome here. Your Spider-Man videos, you know, fuck them. Fuck them all. You, your channel, all you guys can go start an anti-Wade um, revolt re tech, rebel tech. Um. No, shout out to, uh, oh, Toys with Attitude. I take back all the nice thing I said about you earlier because I forgot that you had a YouTube channel. Um, oh, yeah, so uh, shout out to uh, the folks over at um, Fox Forge Toys. They have a Kickstarter going for uh, this right here, which is the Galactic Valor action figures. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to show them some love. I have a link to their to the Kickstarter in the description below so if you guys are interested in this it's like more like uh sci-fi stuff I, I think like this would definitely fit in nicely with your cosmic legions and things like that spider criminal says love you too wade um hey man shout out to everyone who does youtube content all that kind of stuff it's it's hard so people who do it and put a bunch of time into it i do appreciate all you guys but you know i, I just can't support you because that's crazy it's crazy talk Braden says, "This is does this apply to Robo? Yes, it applies to everybody with the YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, so uh, Galactic Valor is about halfway, or no, more than halfway to its goal. Their goal is $80,000. They're at $52,000. And um, yeah, they have like these sci-fi looking figures. A lot of folks that work... Oh, shit. A lot of folks that worked on... Uh, hold on, let's check this out. Hey, this commercial is dope right here.
literally action figure says don't get demonetized wait would i get demonetized for that i mean i i am i figured that was like original music for this that would suck if i got demonetized for that um j- j- you guys just super chat to offset it everybody super chat hundred dollars or whatever would be fine but um one six shooter says i had fox forge on my show yesterday yeah you know i uh, you know, shout out to Fox Forge because they're out there hustling. You know, I, I noticed that they were on like different uh, live streams. I think I saw that they were on uh, Laser Pants live stream. Three point, three point, three point of articulation or three PO A. Yeah, he was on there. So like, you know, um, I definitely respect the hustle all the time. So shout out to them for trying to make it happen. I, I think I think this is gonna fund. Uh, they got 14 days to go, so they're about halfway through the campaign. Um, I, I think they're going to get there. Um, so be sure to check them out. Like I said, I have a link to their Kickstarter in the description below. And, uh, you know, if you're into uh, Mythic Legions, Cosmic Legions, then these are going to be very similar to that in feel and tone. Or That's kind of what I'm picking up from this um uh, some of the people that work on those other lines put some work into these i believe cj Esm did the soft goods on that we see on here and uh yeah as you could see like it's very like a, a really well put together presentation damn they pulled out an og marvel legends not triple og but like a old hasbro legends for that nightwalker says great more random plastic man i want that's a Nightwalker, what kind of hater comment is that? I mean, you know, like I understand not everybody likes all, a lot of these like random like independent things, but like in my opinion, I think it's I think it's very very important to 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 support independent creators. Like whether or not you like it, whether you know it's like oh I don't need that shit on my shelf, that's cool. But I think that like you know you you gotta at least support the spirit of it. You know it can't be Hasbro and Mattel and Mezco and Figure. It can't just be them. You know, like I think the independent uh, culture and movement is very important. So like every element, every like project where people not just every project that goes up, but every project where people are putting passion and time and hustling and trying to get it going sh- should definitely get some respect, you know. Ray Paz says Brutal Realm. You check that out. Yeah, no, I've been watching the Brutal Realm. Um the Brutal Realm like uh prototypes that are being painted. And I'll, you know, once they get their Kickstarter going, I'll definitely be talking about that a little bit more. So uh yeah, shout out to uh everybody involved in that as well. But yeah, the, these are looking good. And Fox Forge did a Kickstarter before I it, it was successful. And you know, they sent me one of their figures, but to be honest with you. Um, I, I just wasn't into it. it. It felt like a little bit more like aimed towards kids a little bit or just something else. And, but then they they moved on to this that feels more like in line with like collectors type stuff, you know? Nightwalker says, I'm kidding, but you almost made me die laughing <laughs> reading my comment out loud. I thought you would pass it like you normally do. Hey, just so you know, I don't intentionally pass your comments. I, I just, I tend to, I tend to, uh, the more, the more you comment, the more likely that I'll start reading your comments more often because like I tend to just gravitate towards like familiar names, not just channel members or anything. Cause on this program, I can't even see the channel members don't cancel, but, uh, I mean, I can't like their names aren't highlighted on here. It's highlighted in the chat for you guys to see, but uh, on here, everyone's this looks the same. Uh, but yeah, what? So, what do you guys think of this Kickstarter? I'm interested in. I, I think this guy looks cool, but I'm very interested in seeing how how these things move. Um, I think like the articulation is there. Like they got butterfly joints. You know, they've got a ball joint at the torso, at the diaphragm, double joint and knees, elbows. So, like, the articulation looks like it's there, but I'm curious to see how these move. This guy looks cool. They did a a good job at, at like, reusing parts and making them feel different. Like, I almost didn't notice that a lot of these were, were had similar pieces.
Ooh, this one's cool. He only reads YouTuber comments. One six shooter says I'm backing it. Nice, nice, nice. The collecting brother says rocker, torso, and ball joint waist. One six shooter says they look great in hand. Oh, have you had a chance to play around with them? I know they've been uh, you know, showing up at a lot of conventions and things like that. I, I think. Weren't they at like Legion's Con and stuff? Um, oh, here's a Kickstarter exclusive. Oh, yeah, he looks cool too. Do they pose well? That that's my my thing. I want to know if they pose well. Man, it's dude, let me tell you guys, it's so tough to put together a good Kickstarter. Like mine, I was so lucky because like I look back on mine and I go, what the hell? Like, or or you know, it's always bad to compare to other people, but like when I compare to like this right here or Spiro or whoever, like their Kickstarters are so well put together. Star Wars adjacent, Rick Jones says. The figure report says, what do you think will be the next big step in figure engineering or articulation? I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel like we've seen kind of the pinnacle of articulation because like there's only so much articulation you could really do before you go too far. And Revil Tech goes too far all the time. So like I think we've seen it. Um, you know who I think is like probably the best at articulation is like Thousand Toys. Um, the the synthetic humans, like that's the best possible articulation setup you could have that like still uh keeps the aesthetic intact uh you know so we didn't get a chance i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna get out of here in like 10 15 minutes we didn't get a, a good chance to go through all of the uh to do the action figure photo showcase so i may i'm gonna save that because i don't want to rush through anybody's i had some really cool photos saved I'm not gonna rush through them i'm just gonna we're gonna wait so that we could take some time and appreciate people's uh awesome photography um brendan says uh these look crazy good but i need a nostalgia tug to drop my limited toy funds on something yeah that that's fair for sure you know like you definitely can't uh i, I sh look but here's the thing like you can support something like this without actually you know having to put your money into it right um even if you have like a small Instagram or whatever, like just share this type of stuff, just share it to your stories, you know, whatever, like that right there is huge support. If a lot of people share like these, these, uh, campaigns and things like that, sometimes like that could in some cases be more valuable than you backing, you know what I mean? So, um, I'll, if you can't back, but you're into it and you'd like to see it succeed, go, go share it. Or if you want to, you like, you could make a pledge without an, a re reward, throw a dollar at them. You know what I mean? Like a stripper. They appreciate it. You know, Wes Walker says, how can I show you my toy photography? Uh, well, you know, usually I just, uh, it's just people who's that catch my eye, but, uh, why don't you send me your page? So I make sure to follow you. And that way, if you have something that catches my eye, we'll, we'll get you in there. Uh, literally action figure says i saw someone is trying to do articulation with muscles that actually flex not rubber but plastic seems more like a gimmick currently yeah i mean i feel like I, I feel like we've we've gotten to the point where like people understand like what really good articulation is like we're there we're good but it's just a matter of what company when companies want to use it and how they can incorporate it into characters that we care about i think uh you know like there's certain you know, like for, for Captain America, there's a bunch of Captain America figures, but I don't think any of them have like perfect articulation quite yet. So it's kind of just a matter of like, in, like putting that perfect articulation where we want to see it because it already exists. Like we're already we're already there. Kirby Kai says, have you ever gone to strippers, Wade? Oh, no. Hell no. That's Dude. crazy. Brendan says, should I get an Instagram account or some singles to toss these dudes? Well, if you don't have an Instagram account, maybe like Facebook or something. I don't know. Share it somewhere or throw a couple bucks at them. Brick something says, I'd like to see the same thing that's in Jada Dalsim's arms used more on figures where it makes sense. Mr. Fantastic, a character tale, etc. Yeah, for sure. Uh 
they did such a good job with it uh but yeah make sure that you guys check these out oh they got combo books too there we go oh and t-shirts yeah see like look what a good job they did oh he's got these uh signs by d blake makes yeah see getting like the community involved i really like these figures these are very cool man i'm so jealous of people that know what they're doing <laughs> This is crazy right here. And you know, like I said, uh, they've, they've done successful Kickstarters before. And the last figures they did, you know, the Kickstarter was completed and they delivered the figures. So uh, that's huge to, to be able to, to finish a Kickstarter and actually get the stuff out. Um, you know, that, that's a, a very good sign. So th they got them out there. Roboto says, yo, yo, yo. Doombot9000 says, how about some shoutouts? Yeah, for sure. Now that we have um, some a little bit more time, we could do some shoutouts. And also, we're going to do the giveaway here. So, okay. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to get out of here in like 10 minutes or something. But I want to be sure that everybody has a chance to get into the giveaway. If you want to be in the giveaway, type in hashtag Victor. Oh, it says right here. Type hashtag Victor Shade in the comments to join. Right now, there's currently... Uh, Right now, there's currently 85 people in the raffle or free giveaway, free, free, free giveaway. And this is for a Rebel 10 uh, Customs Vision Cape, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, like I said, oh, shit, man. I'm trying to... My Instagram is fucking bullshit because I'm trying to... We're about to watch the Warriors game. It's fucking shit popping up. But uh, yeah, so if you guys are into this, in, into these, be sure that you guys go show them some love. Uh, You know, like I said, they're doing their thing. They're out here hustling, trying to make it happen. They're not that far away. They're only $30,000 away from reaching the goal. And, you know, then a couple thousand dollars more to get to some of the uh, stretch goals. So if you guys want to see this happen, then... uh. You know, get on it. Go show them some love. Wade Shade. <laughs> oh, man. Ray Pass says, fuck everyone else. Damn, what? What are we talking about? Michael Thomas. Hey, what's up? What's up, Michael Thomas? Shout out to Michael Thomas. Uh, You know, he's one of the, the few of you assholes that have given me something for all my hard work. I come up here for you motherfuckers two times a week up here you know, dragging my ass up here after work, singing and dancing, making you guys laugh and shit like that. What do you guys give me? Nothing. Michael Thomas gave me a very nice gift and I appreciate it. The rest of you guys fucking could burn in hell, except for the YouTubers. I appreciate all the YouTubers. I fuck with them. You know what I mean? But everyone else, you guys are like peasants, peasants with no presence. You know what I mean? Hey, Chandler Parks with a $5 super chat. Thank you. He says, adding a super chat to lock this raffle up. What does that mean? What are these words you're saying? Keep dancing. <laughs> Keep dancing, clown. Oh, Josh Brown gave me some stuff too, um, but I lost half of it, so that doesn't count. And then the other stuff. Uh, oh, no, you know what? You gave me... Wait, no. Oh, yeah, you gave me Dementros, which I do like. I was going to say, you gave me Valiant Knight, but that was Toy Chase. Um, and you also gave me the big orange uh, Spiro Toys figure. No, okay, fine. Factino93 says, Wade, you see J. Cole apologizing? He should have kept quiet. I agree with you, man. That shit was fucking... That's why, I'm on a... That's why I'm on a rampage today. I'm sick of this peaceful shit, you know? Damn, Michael Thomas says, I won giveaways from Geek Effect and the Lethal Collector. So I think I got this one in the bag too. Damn. Literally, Action Figure says, oh, we get better chances if we pay? I thought it was a giveaway. Sounds like a raffle. Nope. No, 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 no. It's a giveaway. Morphix says, I gave you a midget odious body. Yeah, but that was, yeah, you did. You did. You did. Okay, you did. But um, it freaked me out because they're, they're, he's got a robe on. He's got no clothes on. It's weird, you know? 
Uh, but no, that was awesome of you because it was <laughs> it was it was awesome of you because it was so weird. But uh, yeah, let me get these shout outs before uh, before um, probably Doombot Doombot nine thousand yells at me. He's always gunning for me, man. Josh Brown says, wait, I just PayPal you $10. Make sure to put any extra entries on the sly. There's no extra entries. There, you know, I, honestly, if I if I knew a way to cheat this raffle, then I would cheat and then, you know, sell the capes on the side because I'm grimy like that. But I don't know how to cheat on this, in, this thing in particular. Brian Merchant says, let's go. East Coasters need to go to bed. All right, fair enough. Let me just give these shout outs out real quick shout out to uh nathan's toy nation shout out to uh josh brown toys there she blows uh shout out to oh 5k toys always shout out to 5k toys there's a quick look at uh summer oh, oh shout out to uh this little guy adam shout out to excelsior 1975 there's a shot of the vision cape that we're giving away two of them uh shout out to greg formerly brute scale shout out to toy farce he's always sharing it uh, shout out to Hankin. Yeah, what's up, Hankin? Shout out to Toy Malarkey. Shout out to Literally Action Figures. He threw an awesome song on here, too. Um, and shout out to Doombot9000. And shout out to Nathan's Toy Nation again. Motherfucker. And also, shout out to Romo. I saw that Romo posted it um, just a minute ago, or right when I got on, so I didn't get a chance to you know, do it on here. But um, all right, let's see. Okay, so all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Uh, hey, Plasti, I'm doing a giveaway. Look, if you read right here, it says type Vic, hashtag Victor Shade in the comments to join. We're going to be giving away, or actually Rebel 10 Customs is giving away two vision capes. So, oh, wait, I forgot to, sorry, I forgot to, right, right here, type Victor Shade in the comments to join. So if you want a, uh, a, a, oh, and Plasti, I'm not shipping these. She's shipping them, so it won't take a year like your book and your uh, Santa Claus head. But if you win, please try to hit me tonight with your address. So, oh, right here it says, type in Victor Shade in the comments to join. Let's see. I, I really I really hope there's 100 people, and I hope I could do it twice with no issue. Okay, 105 people. I'm going to hit start and see what happens. And then I don't think I need to hit reset. We'll see. Okay. Are you guys ready? Let's hear. It. Let's everyone in the everyone in the crowd say hey ho, and then we'll do it. We need a hundred hey ho comments. Hey ho, hey ho ho ho. Toys of Attitude says let's go. Uh, he did not follow my command. I'm gonna see if I could disqualify him. I cannot. Uh, I don't think I can. Hey ho, hey ho! Look at everyone saying hey ho. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I think. Oh, I could change the font. Does that do anything cool? Oh, look at that. Okay, okay. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit start and see what happens. So start. Oh, look at that! Hey. Oh, look at the comments. See if people are still saying "Hey ho." Oh, it goes for a long time. I put it for like four minutes. Oh no, I didn't. I nine is winner number one. Oh shit! Look at this confetti. Let me take a picture. Side nine, hit me up on Instagram, please, or uh, uh, that other thing, email. Oh, toys with attitude says rigged. It is rigged. It is rigged. The wrong winner won. So Kitbash Custom says, I don't see my name, Wade. 
I disqualified you because you posted on Instagram one time. Okay, let, let me... So, okay, there's two winners. So that's one winner. Let's do another... Let's see if I if I just do it again. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So side nine, if you win again, you're not the winner. I'm going to... I'll redo it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase this the spin duration to 40 seconds um and I'm gonna increase the size of shit okay and I'm also gonna change the font there we go I'm also gonna change the background color oh shit no all right I won't change anything else this game is racist. I just want to win to annoy Wade. <laughs> you being here annoys me enough. Don't worry. Um, okay, so I'm going to do it again. Here we go. Congratulations to Side9. Man, this is cool. I'm going to be giving away stuff all the time. I'm not going to ship shit, but I'm going to be giving it away or do giveaways. Let's see. Oh, 40 seconds. Oh, this is bullshit. Next time I'm gonna do it for like four minutes. Look, even the even the ticker is getting all pissed off. Oh man. That was gonna be fucking bullshit. Robo Toast. Shout out to everyone except for the figure report and Kit Bash Customs. Yeah, that so that's cool, man. Uh, yeah. So you guys, um, all of you awesome people that are always in the chat, you know, it's always the same names. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of giveaways. I'm gonna give away shit all the time now because this is cool, man. Th this was fun. But I want to make it more annoying. So next time I'm going to do... Uh, let's see. What other options do I have? Oh, I could have done... Oh, I could have done all comments. Look, I could do 100 seconds for the spin duration. You guys are fucked next time. Um, Kit Bash Custom says, I feel played. Uh, Factino 93 got clammed. <laughs> yeah, congrats to Side9 and Robo Toast. Kitbash Custom says, Wade set this up. Um, Look, if I was going to rig it, Plasti would win. So in the future, if Plasti wins any giveaways, just know that it's rigged, you guys. Um, all right, you guys, I'm out of here. You guys, man, it's... it's it, you know, I've got to say, it's tough to uh, accurately like convey how much i appreciate you guys especially because you guys piss me off so often in the in the live stream that i have like these you know like violent mood swings like back and forth so it's hard for me it's hard you know but i will say you guys are pretty cool man i like you guys so thank you <laughs> thank you so much for coming through i appreciate everyone's uh time it's tuesday tomorrow's wednesday uh you know that's pretty cool i'll see you guys on friday i i thought that i um I thought that we, I thought that m me, Mikey, and Plasty were going to come on, but I may be mistaken. I don't know. I got to ask uh, those guys. And if they're not doing, if they're busy or like, you know, doing some Hollywood shit or some like, you know, uh, like drug lord shit or whatever, then I may need to do, um, I may need, go Lakers. Uh, I, he's disqualified from all upcoming um, giveaways. Write that down. Um, Chris Jordan says, is Robo Toast here? Uh, I don't know. But like I said at the beginning, that if if people don't come claim their their prize by the next time I do a live stream, then they will not get the prize. It, it will go to someone else. So keep that in mind. Uh, but anyways, all right, everyone. Uh, peace out. Thank you so much for coming through today. I hope you guys had a good time. I had an awesome time. I always do hanging out with you guys. Um, so thank you. Peace out. Enjoy the rest of your week. Read some comics. Um, you know, never apologize. That that's my that's my advice to you guys. Bye bye.